Hello everyone, in this video we'll discuss a numerical on forced vibration. The question says that a machine part which has got a mass of 2.5 kg, it vibrates in a viscous medium and the harmonic exciting force of 30 Newton, it acts on the part and causes a resonant amplitude of 14 mm with a period of 0.22 uh, seconds. So we have to find the damping coefficient which is zeta. And the second is the frequency of the exciting force is changed to 4 hertz. We have to determine the amplitude of the forced vibrations if the damper is removed. So firstly we write all the given data. We are given the mass. F0 is given. That means for the static deflection force is given the amplitude. So it says that this is the amplitude, right? So amplitude is given, which is 14 mm. Time duration is given. And we know omega is 2 pi upon t. So we can calculate the value of omega. Now at the resonance condition where r is 1, omega, that means the working frequency is equal to natural frequency. And we know the formula for omega n. It is under root s upon m. So we can find the spring stiffness by putting the values of m and omega n because omega is equal to omega n. So this is the value of spring stiffness that we get. Now we know the amplitude in case of the forced damped vibrations is given by this equation. We have already derived it. And, but in this case what we are given that omega upon omega n is 1. So the equation reduces to this. And we are concerned with finding zeta. So amplitude is known, which is 1, 4 mm, right? F0 is known. S is known, as we have calculated here. And we can easily find the value of zeta, which is 0.526. And we know damping coefficient. This is the uh, value that we have to find out. Damping coefficient is given by this, which is 2m omega n into zeta. So basically this comes from the formula where zeta is equal to c upon cc, right? Which is the critical damping factor, critical damping uh, coefficient. So and its value is what? It is 2m omega n. So we know all the values, we place them and we get the value of damping coefficient which is 75.04 newton per meter per second. Now the second part says that when there is damper, so if damper is there, omega changes and because the frequency is changed to 4 hertz, so omega is fn upon 2 pi. We know that frequency is inverse of time period, so it is fn into 2 pi and this is the omega that we get for the new condition. Now again we can find the amplitude of this system. We know the value of zeta, we have already calculated. And we know omega, we know omega n, right? Omega n we have calculated here. So this is the value of omega n. And omega is found out in this part. Because in this condition, we are not uh, taking into consideration the resonance condition. This is not the resonance condition. So omega and omega n will be different. So this is the amplitude that we get. Now in case when zeta is equal to 0, that means we are not taking into consideration any damping factor. The equation reduces to this and the amplitude we can easily calculate by putting the values of F0, S, omega and omega n. Now the question says the increase in amplitude if damper is removed. So we have to find the change in the amplitude with damper and without damper. We have calculated both the values. So we can easily find the difference between the two and this will give us the change or increase in the amplitude. 